this is a big time of year for a lot of students out there. Um, at one time, believe it or not, many years ago, I was in your shoes, getting ready to graduate, move on to that next phase of life. And I have to admit it, I was not the best student. So coming from my position of experience and experience, not only in successes in my life, but also in a, what I would see as some failures also along the way, uh, I thought of a couple things to advise you on. Um, if I was going to tell you as a graduate what to do or what to look out for, um, my first piece of advice would be to set goals. And uh, that's coming from me never being a goal-oriented person. I was always decent in school. I was never that good at math or things like that. And whenever I started to lag behind, I would push it aside and just say, oh, it's stupid, or I, I didn't want to work hard to get good at it. But if during you know middle school when I started struggling with math, if I'd set goals of trying to get better to self-improvement, I would be a lot better off. Also setting goals about just doing things, all right? Uh, homework was always a struggle for me. I don't know, maybe I'm just, I was just lazy or something. But if I could go back now and do something different, I would develop goals and patterns in middle and high school so that college would have been better for me. Um, if I had developed patterns in my life where as soon as I got homework or an assignment or a project, I would start working on it then instead of procrastination, I was a big procrastinator. I would push everything off until the last minute. And I'd say that uh, the procrastination definitely showed. Um, and I would wait until I knew I had the small window of time, then um, the stress and anxiety would definitely show in the work. I would start rushing to put everything together and um, not the best uh, model for working. And Life, um, as an adult, I had, I've taken some, some college courses before, and I have good, better patterns now. I'm still not a perfect person by any means, but I can definitely see the difference throughout taking uh, classes as an adult is that I'm not stressed when I would turn in an assignment on time uh, before they were due. You know, As soon as I got them, I would plan out and say, Hey, I'm going to do this on this day, and by this time, I'll have everything finished and uh, where it needs to be. So set goals for yourself and create patterns in your life where you achieve those goals. It doesn't have to be grand goals, or it could just be, okay, uh, 30 minutes a day, I'm going to study this class. I'm going to look at what is when this test is, and I'm going to study for that test. And, you know, if you develop those patterns now, or at least have these expectations, then when they come... Um, uh, when it comes time to put those into practice, you'll be ready. You know, college starts off not that hard at all. You have the, your basic entry classes, which most people can handle pretty easily. And um, the problem is when you try to coast through your more advanced level classes. And um, one of my big regrets is not having the patterns in my life where I even cared about um, school. And that's another good point. Uh, know know where your head's at. Like if your head's not in college, if you're just going to go and waste your parents' money or maybe even your money, uh, don't do it. I'm not saying don't go to college. What I'm saying is timing is important and knowing your own weaknesses, which is another one of my points. Know where you're at in your life. Know what you're ready for. If you need to take a year off to make some big decisions or to do some soul searching you know, make those decisions. And college isn't for everybody. Uh, you know, some people really benefit from going straight into the workforce or for going to a trade school or going into the military. And there's a lot of options out there of getting into a society and, and starting to grow up as an adult. Some people haven't matured as much as they need to to ben really benefit from college. You know, so it takes a lot of soul searching. And Really, when I was a teenager, when I was 18, 19 years old, I, I probably wasn't ready for the responsibility of being out on my own and making my own decisions and uh, showing up for class or staying up all night and then going to class the next day and not doing the best on the test. You know, there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. 
And knowing uh, your weakness is a big and important part of college and of being an adult. You know, no one likes to focus on what they're weak at, but unless you know where your weaknesses lie, then you're not going to be able to uh, strengthen those. And, and uh, you know, if you sort of like when I was in high school and I was taking a, you know, weightlifting courses, you know, I hated doing squats. And because of that, my squat max never went up. You know, I was over there benching almost as much as I could squat just because every time the test uh, came around, I would always just go up enough to get an A and then I wouldn't do any anything. I wouldn't exceed expectation on that because I didn't like it. Uh, um, and that way your weaknesses always stay your weaknesses. Um, unless you work on something, you're never going to get better at it. So um, know where your insecurities lie. And it's better to work on your insecurities now while you have fewer responsibilities than later in life when it's really important that you achieve and uh, succeed. You know, life is more forgiving as a teenager and while you're still with your parents. But um, failure is a lot cheaper when you're not paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to go to school. And your parents will really appreciate it if you take the time out of your day to analyze yourself and ask if you're ready and to look at your life and say, what, what do I want? Is going to college even something that I want to do? Because if your mind and your heart isn't into it and the patterns that you've developed in your life haven't gotten you ready for that point, then, you know, no matter how much money your parents pay for your school or that you've saved up for, uh, you're not going to value that education. And education is valuable. But it's just like when you, um, if you don't put anything into something, you're not going to appreciate as much as if you worked uh, for it yourself. So I'm not saying some people aren't going to be, uh, you know, taking loans out themselves um, or paying for it themselves at a community college level. But uh, when you do those things, when it does come out of your own pocket, it means a lot more. So before you go and, you know, waste a lot of your, your time and money, uh, really do some soul searching to see if that's the direction you want to go in. And uh, see, I, I think I would have benefited a lot from uh, going straight to a workforce somewhere instead of going to go. I did find school. I, mean, I passed. Could have done a whole lot better. But, uh, yeah, it, it's really important that you set your goals and know your own weaknesses. And that's really my two pieces of advice as far as that. But graduation coming up, that that's a big thing. Uh, congratulations to you for uh, graduating high school. And just know that this is just the beginning. And life kind of does get more serious and more difficult as you go along. But if you keep stacking success and accomplishment on top of each other, you keep achieving, you keep achieving great things. And, you know, while you may not look at graduating from high school as some big achievement because it was expected of you, it is still an accomplishment. And your next accomplishment, your college classes or getting that A or getting that next job is all built on your past accomplishments. So uh, it's really uh, good, a really good pattern. Some people just give up. Some people just stop. And it's not a lot of times that they couldn't do it. It's just that they didn't have the will to. So the fact that you've uh, persevered through you know, some of the difficult times of high school, and it's not always uh, at an educational level where things are difficult. Sometimes it's home life or or drama with friends or relationships you know, that make it hard to get through those times, but you made it. So congratulations. And just like I'm talking to you, there's all kinds of adults out there who've had experiences that were, you know, you know, if you're closer to the type of person I'm talking about who I used to be, or if you're talk, or if you're already more mature and developed. And if you are uh, someone else talking, to someone else might be beneficial who has, who was ready for that college experience. But uh, ask your parents, ask your grandparents, ask your uh, your older siblings. You know, There's a lot of wisdom to go around about what to expect because you don't want to be blindsided by a whole new lifestyle and a whole lot of freedom. And I think the freedom's the big thing. It's like when you start driving, you have a whole new world opens up for you. But 
that's just a taste of the freedom you get when you live on your own. When you decide what your patterns will be completely. No one's making sure you're getting out of the bed in the morning. No one's making sure you do your homework. No one's really washing your clothes or cleaning your room for you. It's all following you. So if you think you would thrive under that freedom, keep pushing on. If you think that freedom is a little scary, it is. Analyze yourself and see if you're ready to handle it. And if you're not, start changing yourself and preparing yourself to be the person that would thrive under that, that freedom instead of being uh, crushed by it and failing under it. So that's the type of people we want to grow up to be is people who would thrive under more freedom instead of being crushed by uh, all the liberty that surrounds you. So that's my advice to you. Hope it, uh, hope it uh, helps you out along the way. And if you have any questions, you can message me or, or call me or ask me anything. So congratulations, everybody, and looking forward to seeing you all this graduation Sunday.